the cards that we received outside and I know you could not see but you're gonna have to trust me on this we have we we by now we I'm hoping we've built a level of trust here okay guys always creating with integrity of the light we work very very hard around here to create with integrity of the light we need that stability in order to move forward from because we matter first and foremost okay so and you know that's with the humble charge we already know this right okay so instinct instinct was the first card out we're going to use our instinct the mother to heal from our opposition we're going to work with the father we have the mother the father and that's going to allow us to heal from isolation we're going to raise our vibration because we know we took a fall we're about to raise our vibration this i want you guys to see this is connected to libra season so in libra season we will be raising our vibration okay and this is connected to new earth and my counter just said one 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 now we are working with concession this card flew out twice in to make its presence known and that's in order to invest with the earth and here we see virgo energy okay now the energy on the bottom of the deck is principles okay we're healing with our principles in order to invest reinvest with the earth and this is going to allow us to find our confidence and our individuality and this is what we've been working on we've been healing from insecurities big time guys okay big time and this is connected to the full moon in Pisces. Then remember the moons are connected. So the full moon in Pisces is connected to this new moon in Virgo. And here's our levitation right here. So we will be levitating. Thanks to Pisces. And remember this is because we've done much work with our chakras. Our lower chakras. In order to levitate. And we're working with spirit. And we're healing with our family bloodline. This is connected to the stone this is much of this is representation of what we worked with in order to find authentic self this is you know our being connected to our family lineage okay and the work that we're doing in order to activate authentic self and heal our family bloodline and move forward and this is connected to our knowledge okay guys there's knowledge within us Everything we need for this journey is with, within us and we're activating it and we're having recognition with the Father. Okay? And what that's allowing us to do is to, to have a solution with the element of air, this hack that we're healing from. Remember, we're in a new level of it and we're going to heal from being imprisoned. And we're going to use our ambition to do so. Of course we are, guys. We're going to work with the earth and our ambition. This is connected to Capricorn and untwisting it with the devil. Okay? So we're going to get an idea. We're going to get an idea in order how to spin the wheel with the element of error. But in order to spin this wheel, we're going to come together. And this is the work that we're doing with the earth. With Gaia. Okay? And much of it has to do with re with removing false masks right now. Okay, guys, this is the time more than ever that authentic self is needed. Because this is what's going to create the love here. Okay? Our, our, our authenticity is, is this, and it's connected to this. And it, it's part of our magnetism back together, back to one. And we're seeing this. And I have a feeling many of us are understanding... The connection between the divine and our counterparts more than ever even through the energy of the opposites even if you know you're experiencing pain you're still understanding the connection okay now when we were walking in these two cards flew out and this pile over here is the rest of the cards that fell out when we were standing with la luna with her light on us there's volcano we're, we're charging we're charging up here. This is where we're going to to charge up all of our energy and we're going to be in pause while we charge it up and then we're going to 
use that energy to like look she's a runner she's in the running position then she's after this is a this is a little bit tricky because you know she wants to be running but she's not running she's sitting here charging up with the energy of well it's eclipse energy and the moon and then she's gonna leave this podium and she's just gonna burst off running that's what we're gonna do but in order to do that we're making a sacrifice we're gonna be still we need to be we need to be this is connected to stillness and mother earth because in in that time we're gonna allow the masculine to heal even more at a deeper level this is mars and the sun and they're they're in friction but we're going to heal with them and use sagittarius and capricorn to create our harmony we we are going to have a harmony and it is connected to love okay remember this is connecting to love and we've been doing all this work with the masculine so here it is these two cards flew out for a reason we're going to get back into manifestation and work with the elements and heal from guys this is lower vibrations okay lower vibrations have our hair up like this like it's it's symbolism for a storm we're caught in a storm but these pink fluffy little cloud like things are showing that hope is in the air literally okay but in order to 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 create with this hope we need to get back to manifestation with the elements and these are connected to the elements and number 13 the 13 spheres of knowledge we're at the altar again okay and at the altar we're gonna we're going to begin building our fulfillment this is connected to the time we're in that's why these cards had to make their presence known. A severe looking woman, her hair formed into a black cloud, raises her hands in an attitude of despair. Before her is a magical altar displaying objects that represent the four elements, fire, earth, air, and water around her wrists. And also behind her are small pink clouds. In the orderly and precise sign of Virgo, the conjunction of Mercury and Saturn indicates a conventional outlook. They signify that the status quo is to be maintained at all costs. Saturn indicates concern about what others think. Hmm, so we're going to heal from what others think. Okay, guys? This old respectable planet lends a serious and pessi pessimistic bias to positive mercurial thought. The altar represents thinking that has become a ritual and habit. So we're going to move away from thinking that's become ritual and habit. And remember, we're working with air. Okay, and Mercury, our connection to Gemini and the twins. And remembering the twins are coming together with the swords energy to create with love. And that is connected to Aquarius, you know, the swords, air, and the water, the mother. There's all, you can, you can really start to see how things are connected here. Okay, guys. Now, although the atmosphere, oh, remember this, this altar represents thinking that has become ritual and habit. We need to move forward from this. Because this is going to allow us to clear more of this negative hack within the element of air. Although the atmosphere of this mansion is negative, the small pink clouds indicate that there is a positive potential and hope to be gained from the currently gloomy situation. You simply have not noticed it yet. See guys, we haven't noticed it yet. Drawing this card also indicates that you are being forced to behave in a way that others expect. Well, is that not truth of the times we are in? Key phrase, fulfilling the expectations of others. And this is what we're healing from right now. Fulfilling the expectations of others. So we're going to go to concession and we're going to see what that means. And we're going to say a thank you before we do that to the oracle, the moon oracle. Let the phases of the moon guide you. And yes, we will. Thank you, Caroline Smith and John Astral. All right, guys. This is connected to the, the Libra season, okay? The sun now lights only a thin crescent of, of the left of the moon as it nears the end of its monthly cycle. During this period, the concentration of your mental abilities produces the seeds for the future. It is a time for making concessions and adjusting ideas to new circumstances. So that's why this card made its appearance twice. So, our connection to moon in Libra, no matter how pleasurable you find the company of others, 
Sometimes you need solitude in order to get your head together. That is the time. Okay, guys. So we need to get our head together. We're going to expand off this right now. We are working with Isis. And this is our connection from the end of Leo season and the beginning of Virgo. And she is helping us to heal from our fall and elevate by healing from manipulation. And look at that. And there it is, guys, right here. Demeter. Okay? This is Virgo. The red goddess. And we will harvest. We're going to harvest, guys. There's a third eye activation that is it's within the earth and it's connected to the earth star chakra as well as our root and it's it's going to go up remember we're going to move the energy up our chakras up our spine and we're going to levitate well we're getting this energy in order to levitate from the earth and have a third eye activation this is connected to our pineal gland so the earth is going to allow us to have a third eye activation within our pineal gland and levitate and heal from manipulation. And we will harvest what we are creating, guys. This is key. We're getting a promotion with the element of air. Thank you. And this allows us to heal from our competitiveness. And there it is, guys. There it is. And when we do so, we heal from lower vibrational gossip. This is healing from the element of air. Lower vibrational, okay? This is this is lower vibrational. This is the, connected to the hack of the element of air. And then when we do that, we're able to be in commitment with the mother and achieve with the earth. And this is building the economy of new earth.